heading to Wasilla today. We are going to a car wash and it is actively snowing as you can tell. So they have these big car washes that are heated, they use hot water, and they're indoor. And in Alaska, especially in the winter time, like this time of year, you have to wash your car every once in a while. You get ice on them, you get snow, you get all the sediment and silt from the road, and a lot of the cars up here, they get rust really easily from that kind of stuff just sitting on them. So today it's snowing pretty good, and we have to run into Wasilla, so we are gonna take the Tundra through the car wash, and show you guys what a, an indoor Alaskan car wash looks like. This car wash is pretty cool. They have a dog wash and you can use a card to pay for your dog wash. It's a little pricey, I think it's like 10 bucks for a certain amount of minutes, but we did wash Bo when he had the fleas a while back, um, but we don't need to wash him today, but kind of cool. Let's head over to the car wash. So they also do an auto car wash that you can just drive through, but we're gonna do the uh, self-serve car wash, I guess it's called, and here it is. So this is it, we're inside the car wash. As you can tell, this place is huge in here. It's heated, they have shampooers, blowers, vacuums, and they have a ton of options you can do. So as you can tell, the Tundra, she's seen better days. So we're on a time crunch here. Our time started when we got in. So we're gonna get to washing her. Whoa. All right, Ariel's using this uh, pressure washer to get the truck, get some of the dirt off before we soap it up. And that thing's spraying hot water, which is cool. And like I said, it's heated in here, so this water doesn't freeze on your truck until you drive outside. they give you this tag and then hopefully we can get out of here without crashing but then when on your way out you scan it again and then that's how you pay so you scan your ticket you throw it in there deposit the amount shown and we were in there for a long time and that's our total 15 bucks so if you caught the site at the beginning for 15 minutes it is only five dollars 
which the last time we were here, I think we stayed within the 15 minutes, so it was like five bucks, I think. Um, but today we obviously took considerably longer since we were making a full production. And Eric and I were like, let's go on a Monday, middle of the day, there'll be no one there. Yeah, right guys, it was totally full. And it's enclosed, so even though there's ventilation, it does smell really strong and chemically in there. Human. Um, I guess if you're trying to be in there when there's no one else, I would recommend going at night. That's the last time we came, there was only like one or two folks, so. Not too bad though, all in all, the tundra's clean.